The key difference between a standardized neural network and a recurring neural network is having a loop. The loop will have previous time step or the previous event as well as the current step. Well, in this point, we need to understand what kind of changes we want to do to update this hidden state because we're dealing with two parameters over here, which is different from standardized neural network. In the contrast, we need to find out what kind of activation function we can use to produce all kind of updation inside a hidden state. Well, this equation might look a little difficult, but don't worry, it's easy. Because see, previously I explained h of t will be our hidden state tan h will be a function. The function you can choose what kind of activation or what kind of work you want to achieve through your modeling. Well here I have started with tan h which is easy to start. Under these two terms that is w of h with h t minus 1 that is our previous time step. At the same time w x of h and x t those are our current state. Well this entire equation will update our hidden state. So let's understand what it's doing x of t is basically our input vector. That input vector depends on what kind of work you want to do. Whether it's an image, whether it's a sequence, or it can be your voice, or it kind of any kind of sequence basically. So using this x of t, which applies to the function, this function will update. Here I have used tan h. That means our tan h is going to update all kind of hidden state. Well, for this, we can use any standardized neural network operation. The operation depends on what kind of activity or what kind of result you want to get from this recurrent neural network. Well, it's a hidden state and this function might be a standard neural network operation. Well, again, this function will be multiplied by our weight matrix. And then the application of a non-linearity, but again, this difference will be feeding both input vector as x of t and the previous step. So we are kind of feeding both of the results that is towards to our previous time step as well as the current step. This input to a function will give us two separate weight matrix and then we can apply the non-linearity after multiplication by these two different weight matrix. Our output y of t at a given time step is one kind of modified or transformed version of the internal state. Well, this state comes by the multiplication by separate weight matrix. This is how generally RNN works and update its hidden state. And in this way, we can get our hidden state faster. In the next way, I want to expand what's exactly happening inside this recurrent neural network. So recurrent as a loop, when you are expanding this, for example, here x of t, when I expanded, it, it's nothing but x of 0, x of 1, like that, x of t. Similarly, our output will be y of t, that is from 0 to t time step. And this L1, L2, L3 are, are our loss for our individual time step. This tiny box are basically the hidden state. And earlier, in this previous example, I have explained how to update each, each hidden state. Well, for using this hidden state, we can always reuse the same weight matrix and then each time step it will update. And for the updation, we can use any standard neural network operation. Well, I hope it's useful. Thank you.